This one, one more centimeter. Right. No stability. 110 press. Cool chair. Welcome back, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, to the next episode of my training vlog of this kind of training block. So at the moment, still heavily favoring a lot of jiu-jitsu and doing about one to two weightlifting sessions a week at the moment. There should be two, but if I manage to get an extra chance to another session of jiu-jitsu, I will defer a weightlifting session and hit up the jiu-jitsu session. So you'll see in this session, I hadn't done a full snatch in two weeks, just the way the sessions had fallen as I had done maybe five sessions last week and five sessions of jiu-jitsu the week before and thoroughly enjoying it but obviously it affects the weight of thing a little bit so this session was from low blocks this is actually the first kind of meaningful session I've done from low blocks I think in my entire career where I actually was going for heavier weights and not just sticking around which is kind of funny it feels quite good because the amount of pulls I'm doing with Anton at the moment my pull feels very very strong Technically, I'm a little bit off, but that's okay and it's not a concern. The pull feeling very strong is very interesting. So these are 110 for triples. So triples all the way up as usual, like I talked before. So the volume is done all the way up. It's accumulated from the bar right to the working sets. Here's 110 again. So these were then doubles. So a couple of things wrong with this. Main thing is very tense in my arms, my shoulders. So I am kind of slightly shrugging up in the start position not letting my legs and my back do as much to work so I'm using my arms a bit too early and it's kind of slowing the marble down and the timing is messed up a little bit second thing then I'm doing is I'm making contact and just getting under too fast so I'm contact under so I should be extending more should be using more of my traps to extend upwards getting a little bit more vertical my chest should be more upright and closer to the barbell and then I'd be jumping back less and I'd have a smoother pull but you'll see for example here's 120 for the first rep so first rep is fine uh, so you can see pulling back behind the barbell a little bit too early, but not a major problem. So here it was actually supposed to go for a double. So here's the second rep and you'll see I'm just hip smash under. So it's not because that we want. We want to be vertical. We want to be using our legs, extending straight up to hit, lift those heavier weights. So I went for the double again, but no cigarro. Then for a third time to attempt it again, but just uh, it was not happening that day. It's kind of just one of the things where it's it's hard to kind of zone in and focus and kind of hit the right kind of state of mind to be hitting heavier weights quote unquote so back down to 110 for a double just to finish on a make which i've seen anton do a few times if i miss stuff is back down to lighter weights to make those then we've done to snatch pull so we worked up to 160 for triples and so big thing with anton as i mentioned before he said, my back is the weaker link. So obviously quads are not an issue. Skill isn't really a major issue. It's just my back and my pulling strength isn't as good as it should be. So we doing a lot of pulls and a lot of volume of pulls and very heavy pulls. Typically around uh, kind of 100% of my maxes or maybe a little bit less in the clean and jerk. But for pulls are every session and for quite a bit of volume. Much more volume than I would have ever done in my weightlifting career. And much less uh, consistency and frequency with that volume uh, one major thing i can feel with the volume uh, in terms of the pulling strength is it feels so good in jiu jitsu in terms of like pulling people into guard specifically sweeping people it makes some difference to have a lot stronger of a back uh, so it's very interesting in that regard then a huge amount of assistance work but we finished on these on 160 so anton big on I shouldn't actually be bending my arms here to, on the pull. So he's really big on just me extending with the straps and kind of staying in that extension for as long as possible and over exaggerating it. So enjoying the low block stuff actually. So it's interesting to see if we keep going with that. Then we moved on to the last kind of bigger exercise or barbell exercise of the session. And that was good morning. So I think I did about five by eight good mornings. So we went from like 70 up until 80 for sets of eight. Uh, these weren't great. I've never done good morning super consistently. So you'll see my upper back should be more extended. If you were listening or if you could hear Anton, you'd be hearing him. Let me extend my back more and look up a little bit higher. So it's just flattening out a little bit. Anton says these are used for the kind of replicate the start position or hit the kind of start position of the snatch. Uh, so we're just kind of working through these and techniques. So trying to fix a couple of different things. I'm a little bit, so you can see a little bit rounded there 
and sitting back I think a small bit too much and I should be getting a little bit deeper for the way he wants them for this session he seemed quite happy uh, so these are done over the course of maybe eight minutes or so in terms of sets so they're done pretty quickly back to back uh, other assistance work I'm doing a lot is kind of face down pressing or it's kind of prone uh, Y pressing uh, there's close grip overhead squats there is barbell rows weighted push ups uh, plenty of V-ups and other ab stuff, so Anton, I think, likes assistance work as much as we do at Seeker Strength, so it's quite interesting in that regard. He also talked quite interestingly about the differences in the Georgian system and the Ukrainian system, and I can do a longer video if you're interested in hearing that, and I'll, I'll just get a little bit more details from him, but there's also a lot of differences in the Ukrainian system in different regions have different systems and they're quite different from each other. All the best system or all the best athletes come from his region and the system they used and that's typically a little bit more volume and a little bit less bulgarian but there's some quite interesting things he talked about there so if you want to see a longer one of that i'll definitely do it but i think i will but uh enjoying these sessions uh, just taking them as they come in regards to weightlifting there is no major pressure i train as hard as i can when i'm doing these sessions but my main kind of mentality at the moment is focusing a lot on jiu-jitsu because i have another competition coming up and then I will assess where I'm at after that competition. Now, I know probably, I assume a few people will ask, but no, I'm, I'm obviously not done with weightlifting in any regard. Uh, I'm just really enjoying what I'm doing at the moment. This is, I'm happy with what's going on. As a lot of you know, I've had a, a, a son in what, two months ago. So a lot of that is just, uh, you know, I'm quite happy with the way things are at the moment. Weightlifting requires a lot of volume in those sessions and more than those with jiu-jitsu and i'm yeah i think best to describe is i'm very happy with how the situation is at the moment certainly not done away lifting as i still have more goals i want to hit and there's bigger strength goals i want to hit as well but what's going on now is something that i am very happy with and i would like to get more videos of jiu-jitsu but it feels a little bit stranger because you know you have to be asking people there's just general classes uh there's open mats and stuff but it's a bit it's a little bit different than just setting up a camera and video yourself in the session so i'll see i'll see if i can get some other footage that include it but for now really enjoying the weightlifting sessions uh loving the coaching from anton uh great like the body gives me i like the way he coaches i like simpson technique and quite happy with how my jiu-jitsu is going as well especially in the gi so Hope you enjoyed the vlogs, lads, and I will see you again next week for the vlog, but I'll see you tomorrow for another video.